the other reason that I believe that some of us also struggle sometimes with the um, possibility of not staying committed to something is when there's no clear loss. So we're not seeing the possibility of a loss or there's no time factor. So when there's no clear loss, if we don't go ahead with it, or the possibility of um, a time deadline being you know, factored in, we will not be committed. Okay, so an example is this. So we talked about the lady earlier on that doesn't have, that's probably plus size and healthy, but you are just saying, oh, I want you to, you know, get fit so that you can wear bikinis. And in her mind, she's like, I mean, <laughs> what do I need a bikini body for, right? <laughs> but then if you tell that lady in the plus size that for some reason, because of her genetics or her DNA, if she doesn't lose some fats or weight to a particular, you know, degree by a particular time, she would not live beyond nine months. Guess what? The game changes <laughs> because now there's something that she would lose. Probably not just her life, but all the dreams that she had to um, be there for her children's graduation, their weddings, their you know support them in their marriage and their own dreams, and you know be there to do grandma. Now the doctor is saying if you don't do anything you would lose the opportunity to have this experience. I tell you that that person will become committed to, the, to working out and getting that bikini body. <laughs> so there's a possibility of a time involved as well, because the doctor is not saying, if you don't do this by a month's time, if you don't do this in the next three months, you will not live beyond nine months. From what I'm seeing here, so she goes for a checkup. And then the doctor, so the, the, the fitness coach I told her earlier, bikini body, but now her doctor is telling her, you would lose this by a particular time. The game will change. So anytime you don't have clarity on what you will be losing or there's no time attached to you losing that thing or gaining whatever, you are not likely to be committed. So a, a simple example that comes to my mind is, you know, the, the rent that many of us have to pay on our homes for our homes or mortgages or um, our offices. So if the landlord or the bank say, you are not, if you're not paying up on your mortgage, we are going to we're going to reclaim the house from you you know what you're going to be committed to making sure you pay because you don't want to lose that house especially when you have kids that you love so much or you have an office that you are enjoying and you're seeing the growth of your business so now there's a possibility of a loss so if a possibility of a loss is factored in <laughs> you will be committed because in your mind and for most of us we do not want to lose things that we have worked on or things that we have um, committed time and resources to so at that point where um the possibility of a loss is factored in or the possibility of a time deadline is in place you will find out that your level of commitment will become stable on that thing all right